stadium and the end of an era. After 80 glorious years, the FA Amateur Cup competition plays its final match. It's Bishop Stortford versus Ilford at the curtain call of amateurism. Stortford in white kick off and soon show their determination to succeed. Ilford and their anxiety become over precise. After 12 minutes, Ilford's chances were to fail. Their England player, Roger Day, takes a late tackle from John Deere and is brought down. Deere is booked and Day carried off with severe bruising and abrasion to his right leg. Ilford take up a stubborn line of defence. Then with a quick bout of interpassing, Stortford's captain, Dave Lawrence, picks his spot and opens the score. The loss of Day's experience tells as Stortford keep up the pressure. In the second half, Ilford keep throwing their men forward, but their efforts are not enough. Dennis Murphy takes the ball and gently pokes it into the empty net. 2-0. Not completely downhearted, Ilford still show a little sparkle. Following on from a corner, Peter Drabble beats Terry Moore and makes it 2-1. Stortford then put victory beyond hope for Ilford. A long throw from Lawrence is headed back by Bass and Leakey drives it home. Ilford are now working flat out to keep Stortford away. John Deere and Paddy Betson clash. And it's, can I have your name, please? And a free kick for Stockford. Then Bass is brought down in the box. Penalty. From the spot, Martin Smith just blasted in to make it 4-1. So in the club centenary year, Bishop Stortford collect the cup from Lord Netherthorpe. For manager Ted Hardy, it's a dream come true. Bishop Stortford, the last holders of the amateur cup, the last of the dedicated amateurs to whom the thought of receiving any payment for playing soccer was as remote as the...